Understanding Canoe Repair Kit, an essential guide for English learners. Hello and welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to explore a very specific phrase, Canoe Repair Kit. This phrase might seem straightforward, but it holds interesting insights into English language structure and vocabulary. So, let's dive in and learn together. First, let's dissect the phrase, canoe repair kit. It consists of three words, each playing a unique role, canoe. This is a noun, referring to a type of narrow boat typically used in rivers or lakes. Repair. This is a verb in its base form, but here it acts as a modifier, like an adjective, describing the purpose of the kit. Kit. Another noun which refers to a set of tools or materials used for a specific purpose. By combining these words, the phrase, canoe repair kit, refers to a set of tools or materials designed specifically for fixing a canoe. Understanding the context where you might encounter this phrase is crucial. Canoe repair kit is a practical term often used in outdoor or sporting goods stores, places where equipment for outdoor activities is sold, camping or boating guides, books or articles giving advice on outdoor activities, safety instructions, especially in contexts related to water sports or outdoor adventures. It's a phrase you likely hear or read if you're interested in water sports or outdoor activities. The phrase is not just about vocabulary. It reflects certain cultural aspects. In countries where canoeing is popular, like Canada or the United States, such terms are common. This highlights how language can provide insights into a region's lifestyle and activities. Linguistically, the phrase is an example of how English often combines nouns with other words, like verbs or other nouns, to create specific meanings. This is a common feature in English, showing its flexibility and precision. That's it for our exploration of the phrase, canoe repair kit. We hope this video has not only expanded your vocabulary but also given you a glimpse into the nuances of English language structure and its cultural aspects. Keep practicing, and you'll soon master these interesting linguistic patterns. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.